Hello, brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for joining us today for the Holy Eucharist. Uh, before we start the Holy Eucharist, we're going to pray the Chaplet of Divine Mercy. We're going to pray for all the intentions that we have uh, in, our, in, in the silence of our hearts and also for all the people who have asked us to pray for them and that we have promised to pray for them. So we also pray for all the sick and the suffering and for all the people the parishioners in the community here at St. Mary's. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, O Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven. He seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, O Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, O Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, O Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins, and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 
have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, O Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, O Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and in the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, O Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and holy God, holy God, holy mighty one, holy mortal one, have mercy on us and in the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, Holy mortal one, have mercy on us and in the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy mortal one, have mercy on us and in the whole world. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Welcome everyone as we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. And let us offer this Mass for the intention of Terry Crow by Joanne Smith and also for the speedy recovery of Angelica, Mary Teoxon, and Edwin Torres and for the eternal repose of the souls in purgatory, especially for the eternal repose of Jim Andrews. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And as we prepare to celebrate the mystery of Christ's love, let us acknowledge our failures and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of the glorious Virgin Mary come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, so that, fortified by her protection, we may reach the mountain, which is Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. 
Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The way of the just is smooth, the path of the just you make level. Yes, for your way and your judgments, O Lord, we look to you. Your name and your title are the desire of our souls. My soul yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me gives vigil for you. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. O Lord, you made our peace to us. For it is you who have accomplished all we have done. O Lord, oppressed by your punishment, we cry out in anguish under you chastising. As a woman about to give birth, writhes and cries out in her pains. So were we in your presence, O Lord. We conceive and writhe in pain, giving birth to wing. Salvation we have now achieved for the earth. The inhabitants of the world cannot bring it forth. But your dead shall live their corpses shall rise. Awake and sing, you who lie in the dust. For your dew is a dew of light, and the land of shades gives birth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. From heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. From heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. You, O Lord, abide forever, and your name through all generations. You will arise and have mercy on Zion, for it is time to pity her. For her stones are dear to you servants, and her dust moves them to pity. From heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. The nation shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory, where the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. From heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. Let this be written for the generations to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. The proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. 
the gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, today we celebrate Our Lady of Mount, Mount Carmel. Today is a very special day for us as Catholics because we have a great aid, our Blessed Mother. This time is the advocation of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. We have to keep in mind that Our Lady is our mother. She's a mother who is always willing to help us, to aid us, to guide us, to teach us. She's a great teacher. She is the mother of the teacher. We as Catholics, we have two teachers besides uh, the saints. But the, the most one is Jesus Christ and his blessed mother. Our Blessed Mother teaches so many virtues. She is a woman of faith. She is a woman of patience. She is a woman of love. She is a woman of endurance. Our Lady is a powerful intercessor. She is waiting for us to unite our souls, our hearts, our minds, to pray with her, to pray for the world, to pray for our souls, to pray for the sick, to pray for the suffering, to pray for those who are helping and aiding in the hospital, all those who are keeping the world running. Our Blessed Mother teaches to be a servant, to be a servant as we hear in the passage of the Bible, of look how our Blessed Mother, she being pregnant with Jesus, she loved God so much that the Word of God incarnate in her. Our Blessed Mother is a woman of faith, despite all the difficulties that she had as being pregnant and young, she kept her faith strong in God. She invited us to do the same thing despite the difficulties, the darkness, the turmoil that we face in life. She called us to be faithful to God, to be docile, and to allow ourselves to be servants of God, not servants of the world not servants of the devil. Blessed Mother teaches how to be a just person. The just person is the one who listens, the one who obeys the word of God. Our Blessed Mother, she is the one that calls us and invites us to come to meet Jesus. As an experience in my life, in my journey, since I have risen, I always have been devoted to our Blessed Mother. And my heart is full of joy today because we celebrate the advocation of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Brothers and sisters, I invite you that you, you invite the advocation of Our Blessed Mount Carmel to come to your heart that she will teach you the greatness of the Lord, that she will teach you how to be a virtuous man of faith, hope, and love, how to be the man and woman that God has called you to be, that you will be experiencing joy despite all your difficulties. I want to invite you, brothers and sisters, to ask our Blessed Mother to come to your life to come to your messiness, that she will help you to keep it in order, and she will help you 
to let go of everything that holds you back to get closer to Jesus. She's our mother. She always intercedes for us, and she's always for us, not against us. So let's ask her to come to us and to bring the joy of Jesus to our lives. Let this house of prayer resound with our supplication on behalf of all who are in need. For the elders of the church, our Holy Father, our bishops and priests, that they may be faithful messengers of God's revelation and open channels of his love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all whose right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are so easily watered by the powerful that God may again raise apt prophets to champion their cause. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may learn from Jesus to be gentle and humble of heart, sharing his yoke with him and finding it easy and light. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who labor and are burdened, that they may come with confidence to Jesus and accept the gift of his divine rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the, those who have died, especially Dr. D uh, Paul Davis, Pedro, Nenita, and Nomer, that they may lead them into a good land flowing with milk and honey, the heavenly homeland, that he has prepared for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now let us live up to the Lord for our personal and other intentions. And through the intercession of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this wine we offer, fruits of divine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Amen. 
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. May the humanity of your only begotten Son come, O Lord, to our aid. And may he who at his birth from the Blessed Virgin did not diminish but consecrated her integrity by taking from us now our wicked deeds, may our oblation acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even the earth ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look at the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts of praise by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and given thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give him thanks that you have built us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward Burns, our Bishop, and Gregory Kelly, our Auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, 
and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, let us pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into, into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to the apostle peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other a sign of peace this be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I have no worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion for those who are watching the live stream mass today. So please, my dear brother and sister, please repeat after me. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment to receive you sacramentally, Come at least if spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Not permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we, who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary, may by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So on behalf of Father Martin, Deacon Juan, and Seminario William, thank you so much for joining in this Eucharistic celebration as we honor or as we celebrated the peace of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. God bless you all. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you all. 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.